Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Lazio Career Mode. Um, I hope I have game sound. We'll get into that in a second. I'll check it here in a minute. As you guys see, we are starting here at my transfer hub because this is the start of the new season. If you guys missed the end of the last season, check out the last video. Uh, we were in two finals. Well, we, we had the chance to win two trophies, I guess I should say. And you can go check out and see which trophies we did win. But the short of it is, is regardless, we made champions league which is now our priority for this season um with that being said we have son at left mid we have joseph martinez who sc almost scored i think 40 or 50 goals last season um and we have Miguel Almiron on the right. We have our youngster Sullivan, who's come up through our youth academy, who's done really well, about 85 rated there. Um, and we have we still have some really, really good pieces in the team. But if we're going to win the Champions League, there's a lot of 90 rated players out in the world. There's a lot of really high 80 rated players in the world. And we're going to be playing against them in the Champions League. We need to have the best team possible. So today we're going to be signing somebody that is going to take us to that next level. Now we're starting at the top here starting at 90 rated of course there's some other players in the world that might be rated higher right now but these are the players that pique my interest uh Jaden sancho is very interesting to me because uh he is 90 rated plays right mid or left mid preferably we'd play him at right mid because he's gonna he would take that position for miguel almiron currently um but he can also play cam which isn't listed here but he can uh kai havertz same idea he could play on the right or he could play cam so he could play for either sullivan or miguel almiron um and then we have Umtiti, if we wanted to bring him in as a center back. He's somebody we were looking at before. Uh, he'd be a little bit of a cheaper option. He could pair um, in our defense and make it just a little bit better. But I just, I do currently like Upamakano's partnership uh, with, why can I not remember his name right now? Somebody. Who is it? Oh my god, I forgot his name. We're gonna have to like back up here. Uh, Zhao Felix is the next one on the list as I come here. Lindelof, that's who we were talking about. So, um, let me... Bop do one of those back to the top here uh Zhao Felix of course center forward and striker we do have Joseph Martinez currently but we could move Martinez or Zhao Felix honestly over to the wing if we really wanted to not really something I want to do but it is a potential Pellegrini is on this list as well 86 rated so we're starting to get to the lower end these are maybe some other like filler players that we can end up bringing in Pellegrini could slot into a starting position in the midfield but I really like Tonali and Tonali has the potential to get to like what 91 rated so if we just keep playing him i am absolutely cool with that um this guy is somebody we were looking at before right mid he's like dumb fast 90 pace but again 85 rated probably not something we're really looking into rodrigo is probably somebody i'm more interested in uh plays for wolfsburg currently left wing right wing striker uh player he has the potential to get to 90 rated he has 95 acceleration but he has 99 agility 88 balance and that's super intriguing to me again maybe not somebody we spend all of our money on but if somebody ends up getting sold in one of those positions or like one of our strikers gets sold he's definitely somebody i'd like to bring in only 21 years old currently and then of course there's still barco available 83 rated currently playing for sevilla we played against him actually in the last uh season we played him in the uh, europa league so uh there's still um some players that play for atlanta that are you know near 80 rated some of our youngsters that we left there and things of that nature Martinelli still 77 rated pretty surprising in there um, but again more so this would be like filler players if we end up having money near the end of the window but let's start at the top here I personally would love to try to go after Havertz or Sancho now they're both gonna cost a pretty penny we currently have like 120 or 115 available in the bank to spend so um it's gonna require a player swap as well which is gonna be super difficult let's try for sancho first um currently valued at 107.5 um so we'll see what happens in this little interview here i'm gonna assume this the game sounds not working again i'll fix it after this um let's see player swap let's start with a player swap and see if we could maybe include um not somebody that's gonna cost a, too much money i just don't think psg is gonna be interested in somebody like bakambu um so the center forwards are kind of out of question here maybe a midfielder but again i really like our midfield currently center backs 
we do have a lot of really good center backs to add on to the deal that could end up happening. Um, well, I don't know. Let's start with a transfer offer first. Let's just go in for with 100, see what, see what tickles their fancy. So they're looking at about 189.5, which obviously we do not have currently. Uh, let's counter, um, propose a new fee. What about 105? Obviously, like this is the super extreme here. If we sign this, we're not going to be able to do much else in the window. Um, they're kind of sticking to that price. I don't think we're going to be able to get this offer to go through then. Um, you want all my... Oh my God, wait. You weren't actually supposed to think about that. That deal is not even going to work because then I'm not going to be able to pay his fucking... Uh, his... his uh, is um whatchamacallit i literally just gave them all my money if they take that deal so i don't even know if i can accept that deal in all honesty um but while we're here we'll go ahead i'm gonna do these two really big offers i'm not gonna show you guys the entire window i did the same thing last uh transfer window i don't want to make this episode 30 minutes long because of transfer deals um now whenever it comes to Bayer leverkusen a little bit smaller of a team i might be able to add somebody like bakambu to this uh, we're looking to bring in a goalkeeper, midfielder, or a striker. Okay. Offer another player. I like Okareki and Openda both a lot, but it could sweeten the deal. And if we do this, we're bringing in somebody who's obviously going to greatly improve the squad. I like Okoreki more than Openda. What? I'm giving you strikers. They obviously want somebody to replace, or not replace their midfield, but to help them in the midfield. Would you take pity? Holy crap. I do like pity, but obviously, we're in uh we're in a different realm here, so. And Pity's already pretty old. They're gonna be just as difficult. They're sticking to that price tag. Uh why, why is this not letting me... There we go. Alright. So these two offers, they're going to talk about. Let's get a little bit forward in the window. If anything happens, I'll show you guys. But again, I don't want to make this too long. Our next game is going to be the Supercopa Nacional, uh, which, of course, is just the big cup game or whatever. So uh, we're playing against Juventus again. I'll catch you guys there unless something else okay so it's been like 30 seconds since the last time i stopped uh saying anything but both deals are accepted currently which now i'm like i don't know oh wait no this one's still 187 sell on clause of five percent is what they want so we're not that that deal is just not gonna happen but they accepted the havertz deal the counter offer we we just can't afford right now, so we have to reject that. Um, this one, however, one eighteen. Yeah, let's negotiate this contract, man. Let's see if we have the money. I am slightly worried we're not going to have the money, but we'll see. With the pity money, it, we should be fine, as long as he doesn't ask for some. It's going to take all of our money for sure. And we're going to lose pity in the process, which is a bit disappointing. But a 90 rated Kai Havertz is absolutely massive for the team and for our, our Champions League ambitions here. So, of course, you're going to be crucial. You're going to slot into the starting lineup immediately. Five years, hopefully. Beautiful. Uh, disregard. Wages. Honestly, I am down to give... Let's try 190.
Beautiful, 190, and I didn't have to give him any bonuses, which is huge, because I did not have a lot of money. I probably could have given him around the 155, but if I give him 190, he's less likely to come back and try to uh, milk me for money later, hopefully. So uh, we signed Kai Havertz, which is absolutely insane. Um, we're gonna go ahead and slot him into the starting lineup immediately. And then Sullivan will take the place on the bench for Perez. So currently here is our team. We have Joseph Martinez, uh, Son Havertz, Miguel Almiron, uh, Savage Tanali, Roger Rio, Linda Loft, Upa Meccano, Reggie Cannon, and Strakosha in goal. And then on our bench, we have Gibbs, Okoreki, Tremblay, who's currently injured, uh, Bakambu, Sullivan, Openda, and Kiyain. Um, obviously, a lot of this team could change. We could end up throwing Sullivan at center attacking mid and then moving Havertz to right mid. Uh, we could move Miggy to center attacking mid. We can end up starting Okoreki or Openda. Obviously, Bakambu has been our, our solid in the team. Um, I do want to send a lot of these guys to loan on the bench so that they don't get uh, mad again this season. Um, and then I'm, I'm probably going to end up selling a few of these guys as well. But uh, more so just, you know, to bring in some money and hopefully strengthen our bench even more going in to the uh, Champions League. But today, again, like I said, we are going to be playing against Juventus in this cup game. I will absolutely consider playing Marusic. I'll play Marusic. It's a cup game. That is totally fine with me. Uh, we're going to hop into this match. We're going to beat Juventus, and I'm going to fix the game audio as well. So let me start our boy here. I'm going to do this so that I can bring in Reggie Cannon if I need to. But let's go ahead and just do our full starting lineup here and see how they play against Juventus. All right, so we're good. We have game sound now, which is great. I don't have any lights on in the background, though. Let me, let me, uh, let, let, let's get the vibes back in the room, please. Oh my goodness. Um, hue lights. Get the hue lights on, brother. There we go. It's super subtle, but it's better than white blinds in my background. You know what I'm saying? I need to replace these blinds at some point. But for now, I'm excited though. We're playing against Juventus. Now, Juventus did sell um, uh, one of their center backs. He's a center back, right? I forgot his name already though. Who is that guy? Uh, they sold him to Barcelona for like 187 million or something. You guys know him. Too. Oh, Delight. Delight's gone. Delight went to Barcelona for 187 million. Holy crap, Mane. Now, last season, I can't remember if we beat Juventus in this. Um, I know we were trying to build a team to beat Juventus, and I think we did end up winning this. Oh god, what a freaking goal. Now, I don't... Okay, Ronaldo is still in the team, so he did not retire. Honestly, I thought when we beat them last year for the title in the last game of the season, we were going to uh, retire Ronaldo. But he's still here, and we just got scored on by Sergio with an absolute beggar. Biscuits, a man who you would not believe would, one, still be playing, but two, would be scoring bangers from outside the box. What a what a beast. What a beast. Oh god, Jesus Christ, dude. I feel like I'm getting moited right now. I'm getting absolutely shiitake special sauce on. Nice from Strakosha. Tanali, if you could win this header. Okay. Okay. Now currently Havertz is wearing the number 26. That will probably change as time goes on. But for now, that is totally fine with me. This is the partnership that we got to make sure that we're getting down as early as we can. Joseph Martinez with the goal, as you would expect. That I think that assist goes to Havertz. I don't know, though, because I skilled a lot after I got the ball with Joseph. So, well, didn't skill, but I had to do work. So it might not have actually counted as an assist. But it's a goal nonetheless, and we're on the board. Now, Jaden Sancho would have been a flashier player. And I will say, part of me kind of did want to buy him just so that PSG didn't have him in case we have to play them in uh, the knockout stages or the uh, or the group stages, regardless. But that is A-OK. -okay. Who knows? Maybe we'll still end up with the money later. Oh, I just got dummied on. 
Down to Marusic. Horrible pass from Marusic. Who might be playing one of his last games for the team, honestly. I think it's time that we replace Marusic. I, I don't know, though, because he's good enough to play in Serie A. He's a solid bench player. Um, especially against some of the smaller teams. End of the first half. Going to try to get one more chance here, but... Oh. Oh, I thought Miggy was on side. Dang, this is going to be the end of the half then. I kicked it a little too late. So Ramagnoli is starting back again at center back, which I don't think he was starting last season. This is still a good Juventus team. A lot of the players are still the same that they had last year. They haven't. I don't think they've signed too many players just yet. Now, I was thinking, I don't think Busquets was playing here last year. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe he was part of a... Part of that deal for Bar with Barcelona for Delight. Um, but I don't know. Do the CPU actually do swap deals? I don't think they do. Down line to Havertz. Into Miguel Almiron. Oh, the finesse shot was poor. All right, let's... Uh, I kind of want to see... Havertz has 90 pace. Let's let him go down the line. And then I'm going to bring in Sullivan at center attacking mid. Let's see how this works. Of course, this is a friendly uh, tournament, so I do believe I have unlimited substitutions. Or I should, at least. So let's see if we can... We don't want anyone to get injured, of course. I want to see how Havertz plays on the wing to see if that's something maybe I want to do this season. Into Sullivan. Cuts it back. Finesse shot. Sullivan in the 90th minute. What a man. He didn't start the game, but he may have just made an impression that keeps him in the team. Although, he could end up just being a really good super sub. Um, just depending on how things play out. Uh, it's it's going to be between him and Miguel Almiron. But, I mean, they're both going to be playing. Because neither one of their staminas are, are, are great. Because they will be sprinting a lot. Just because that's how we play in this team. But, it's going to come down to those two. I'm sure it'll be changing a lot. And, uh... Havertz will kind of just play where he's needed. It's either going to be center attacking mid or right mid, but I'm not even going to do the trophy celebration. It's the freaking Super Copa. Like, nobody really cares. It's, it's the equivalent to the Community Shield. It's whatever. It's a friendly trophy at best. So, um, I really appreciate you listening to me, letting me get out there and play while I'm in form. Influential performance. Thank you, Sa. So, we got 3.5-ish from that, and now we do play in another... Super Copa. We're gonna be playing in the uh, whatever the whatever the frick this competition is against Barcelona. So another two trophy episode. The Miguel Amaron for fifty six million. Um, I'm gonna negotiate this, and I'm gonna see if I can get 90, 93 for him. If I can get ninety three for him. I'll sell it, but I'm not going under 93. 93, get out of here, brother. Get out of here. Unless you're giving me 93, we ain't talking. 54, bro, like that's it. So the UEFA Super Cup is where we are now. Um, it's only been a few days after that last game, so uh, not a ton of stamina, but it'll do us. It'll do us a job here. Um. Let's go with the same team. Yeah, let's go with the same team. I'm actually, I'm gonna start, I wanna see how Havertz does starting at right wing. So we're gonna do Sullivan at center attacking mid. Miguel Amaran's gonna start on the bench this time. Uh, of course, chances are he's probably gonna be coming in around halftime, but uh, let's see how he does against this Barcelona team. They did win the Champions League last year. So this is the champions of the Europa and Champions League. Very excited to play in this game, honestly. Now, again, there's not going to be any other transfers that happen in this window until we start selling people. And nobody's really come in outside of that uh, that Miguel Almiron offer. So, I don't know, man. We'll see. If, if Kai Havertz is the only business we do and we don't lose anybody else, I am totally fine with that. We have a great team. This will be a good game to see how Reggie Cannon's going to play against a team like this. Um, because he is going to be our starter this season. What? Ref, I had that ball. 
I was definitely getting there, dude. Are you kidding me? Give me a chance to get that. That was such a good pass. Out wide to Kai Havertz. David Alaba's here, though. Oh, what a freaking... <gasps> Joseph almost had it. It bounced so awkwardly. That was actually such a good cross for being hit by David Alaba at the exact same moment. Oh, nice shot. That's my fault. We end up conceding. 1-0 down to Barcelona. Marcus Rashford in a Barcelona jersey. Interesting. Is that a new signing? I swear we played... No. Maybe Marcus Rashford wasn't there when we played Man U last season. Down into Sullivan. He skips past him. Into Joseph Martinez for the goal right in front of the keeper. 1-1. One, one. We're back in the game. Joseph Martinez gets the goal. I don't know what number I want to get ha give Havertz yet. Um, Pity gave up the number 20. But I, I don't know. 26 doesn't look bad, though. Until, like, the number 10 opens up. Like, if we sold Miggy in that deal, the Wolves. Oh, God. Dude, Savage, what are you looking at there, man? Rashford ends up getting another easy freaking goal. Like, what is Savage looking at, man? He just lets him get straight by him. He's watching nothing. Rashford skips past him, gets his second goal of the game. Barcelona's had a lot of possession in this game, as expected, though. I've kind of let it happen. Because uh, usually we stop it around that area of the field. So, but not that time. Oh my god, Sullivan did him dirty. Oof, couldn't get the goal though. Still in? Wait, do we get a corner out of that? Thank god, okay. Probably the last kick of the freaking half. Dang it. I was about to just shoot it with Upa Makano right there. We are 2-1 down. Again, this is a good test to see how we're going to be able to play against uh, these bigger teams. Now what I am going to do... Havertz isn't playing bad, neither is Sullivan though. I don't know if I want to take Sullivan off. But Okareki is going to come in. Not because Havertz is playing bad, and that's why I'm like, I don't really want to take him off. What I could do... I'm going to go Son up top just because uh, Joseph's going to get tired in the second half anyways. And I'm going to keep Havertz in for a little bit longer because I don't want to take him out yet. And I'm going to let him play on the left for now. Although I guess maybe Okareki was probably the better option to put on the left. Well, no, because we have to make sure. He's probably the only player on our team that's going to be able to beat uh, David Alaba for pace. Into Son. He's going to cut it back. Finesse shot. Oh, couldn't get his foot around it. A little bit of a dribbler. I think Joseph would have scored that too. Uh, Son has better finishing, but Joseph's finishing has always felt better. I don't know why. I think it's the shot power. Which Son has a lot of shot power too, so I don't know. Alright, so a lot of subs just came in for Barcelona. Rashford's coming out as well. Um, Havertz is going to come out for us on top of that because he is getting a little bit tired. Uh, Griezmann came in for Rashford, so still obviously a big threat there. Get that to Sullivan. But now we do have the pace of Openda, which is going to help us here as long as he doesn't choke this. We'll take that. Juan Basaka is the one. I didn't even notice he was playing down here. Up to Sully. Bike it. Ooh, decent bike attempt from Son there, but we end up getting the rebound. I actually thought Son had a good chance to score that. But we get the goal 2-2 two, two in this game. Barcelona, they've only scored their two attempts that they've shot, I'm pretty sure. So um, we're still playing really, really well here. We're, we're doing really well in the counter. We're getting a little bit of possession back in the second half as well. I'd say Barcelona probably still has like a 60-40 possession right now, but it's still, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We're probably going to take Sully out soon. I think I'm going to put Miggy at center attacking mid. Um and let his pace kind of help us with Son. Because if he can play off of uh, Son, we could end up doing something really, really good with Miguel Amaran here. All the way down line to Openda. What a ball from Son. Oh, 
Okay, it's a foul. It's a foul and we're going to get our sub in. We could score right here. I'm going to try to get this back post to Lindelof, I think. A little bit lower of a ball. Lindelof. Oh, he got the header, dude. He had the header, just couldn't score it. We're going to end up going to extra time here. I'm not sure if the Super Cup's going to go straight to PKs. I think it does, though. Uh, let's see. We are... No, we're going to extra time. Okay. This is going to be big. I think we should get another sub, though. Up to Okoreki. Give us one more chance, ref. Don't blow the whistle yet. Oh, get him out of the game. Kuda Bali, what is that tackle? What is that tackle? So we do get one more sub here. Wait, nobody's in the box. Miggy. Oh my god, Son almost destroyed that man. So we do get another sub. I might have to use it on a defender. The only problem is my bet. Oh, oh, Daba. Oh my god, I thought we scored again. Wait, they're going to give us one more chance? Dude, that shot might have went in. That shot might have went in. That was a decent shot. So we have one more sub available. I want to use it on a defender, but Perez is my only defender. And against Barcelona? That's kind of terrifying. Tonali. Into Okoreki. Into Miggy. Oh, I should have taken a fake shot there. A fake shot would have been perfect. End of 120 minutes, still 2-2. This game's going to go to PKs. And my biggest fear about that is how many of my star finishers I've taken out of this game. Now, we do still have Son. And, I mean, we still have some decent PK takers, and it's really going to come down to me more than it is the person I'm taking free kicks with. But we're going to PKs against Barcelona for the fourth trophy in two episodes. Nice save. Oh my god. Here we go. Nice. Try to play mind games against the CPU. It's just never going to work like that, is it? Oh, yes. He got a hand to it, but couldn't save it. Oh my god. They're all going to go left. Holy shit. We're gonna get a little cheeky with this one. He saved it. Oh my god, they're in my head. This is gonna be the last. We have to save this. Or we have to score this, rather. Tenali's not the person I really wanna be trying to take this PK with. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. It's gonna require perfect pens and a save here. Goretzka on it. He went right, missed. Yes, we're still in it. We can tie it up right here. Roger Rio, the left back. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, it almost went wide. Beautiful. Juan Bissaka. He went right as well. Holy shit, dude. My brain is breaking. I can't I can't block a PK right now. Okoreki. Let's go, baby. We're still in it. Oh my god, dude. Oh, he saved it. We lose to Barcelona on PKs. What a save. I don't I honestly don't know if that would have went in anyways. I don't think that would have went in anyways. We missed some early on, and we should have saved a couple of those PKs, and I'm just stupid for continuously going to the <laughs> the wrong direction that entire pk battle barcelona win the super copa or the super cup the U the uefa super cup um they only had three shots that game man that is so frustrating we had so many good chances to score that game but neto just played out of his mind dude neto played out of his mind and rashford got probably two of the easiest goals of his career and you hate to see it but that is okay. In the next episode, we'll continue on in the transfer window. Uh, we managed to get a decent amount of money from those games. Uh, we're currently sitting on a $16.1 million budget. 
um, that we could end up spending here, which probably looks a little bit more like an $8 million to $10 million budget uh, for player wages and things like that. But we'll continue that on and start in the Serie A next episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Is it my fault?